Paddling to his rice field by boat is something farmer Ching Huang Kung would never have dreamed of just a few years back. He lives in the province of Ka Mau on the southernmost edge of Vietnam. This is a good first catch for the farmer. If you grow rice, you can grow shrimp. Six months of saltwater shrimp farming, then six months of fresh water to grow rice. That's what I do now, and it's very sustainable. That change, caused by rising sea levels, which now push more salt water into the Mekong Delta. His plots are now too salty to grow rice during the dry season. Instead, the fields are turned into brackish ponds for shrimp farming. Ahead of monsoon season, the fields are drained, awaiting rains that will bring enough fresh water for rice cultivation. At the beginning, a lot of people got rich fast. But if the farming becomes too intense, people are forced to use pesticides and other things to treat the shrimp if they get sick. At this cooperative, the shrimp are particularly big. That is because far fewer shrimp are stocked per square meter than in conventional farming. In addition, the farmers do not have to feed the animals. Instead, they provide a yeast mixture that helps the natural growth of microorganisms on which the shrimp feed. It's an idea of the German Society for International Cooperation. By achieving this with the cooperative, they could sign a contract with the private sector. And through this contract, at some point, the shrimp rice production will be certified and they'll get a premium price for it. That means about 20% above the normal price. Farmer Huang Kung brings out the yeast solution. Thanks to the sustainable breeding, farmers' incomes here have already increased by around 30 percent. Until 2030, the communist government hopes to double the shrimp rice farms in the delta. Working as a civil servant is of course more secure. If all goes well, you make good money here. But if the pond faces problems two or three times per year, you can be in real trouble. The income is very unstable. His children have already declined to take over the farm. 17 million people still live in the Mekong Delta, but more and more are moving to the cities. The forecast is that at least by the end of this century, up to 50% of the land here will be underwater.